right guys, so we are out. As you've seen, it's pretty rainy. It's not a nice looking day out. Uh, so we are here to hatch some eggs at the cemetery and spin some pokey stops. But there are also two gyms, so I thought I'd take them out, I believe. Yeah, this one's uh, this one's Mystic anyway. It's a level 5. I could go power it up to level 6. But this is a pretty crappy gym. Like Strongest Pokemon's 14 out of 5. That's not good. Uh, so I'll probably just let wait for it to get taken and then take it back. Because I do come here a decent amount. Uh, but let's get our party set. We've got a Flareon first. I don't have a whole lot to combat a Flareon. But I do have a little bit of stuff. So let's go Electabuzz, Nido Queen. Well, let's take my Arcanine out and my Ninetales out so I can use them for the first time. And then we'll follow up with Vaporeon and Lapras just in case. But I should have no problem with this gym. But I thought it was something else I could add into this video other than just hatching Pokemon out of eggs. And the one thing I don't like about gym battles is because the multiplier for super effective is only 1.2. Opposed to the 2.0 that it is in the games. Or even higher in the games it can be 4 or... I think there are certain ones, if you get lucky, that are six times, but you really have to... I suck at dodging, so it's, like, not even fun. Let me practice. Okay, I can't even see my... Oops. No, I was late. Okay. It's really hard when the thing doesn't fall, because I can't even see... I can't even see if I dodged it or not. Okay. There we go. How many... Okay, we're back to... Hey, I can get one attack. Okay, I think I can get two. I don't know why I'm wasting time doing this. Because I'm not very good at it. Alright, what is Nido Queen special? I forget. And I didn't even see it. Vaporeon, just get out of here. Thank you. I really do need to work on my dodges because I'm pretty, I'm pretty bad at them. But it's not a big deal. Earth, oh, it's Earthquake. That's going to... Oh, that was... That was some nice damage on... See, what you're supposed to do is wait for those and then dodge. And get, like, one attack off. And then I didn't actually see the... Uh, I didn't see the animations for it. So I don't think there was anything I could do there. I couldn't tell when it was attacking. I believe I have... Do I have Flamethrower? Yeah. Alright, not bad damage. That should be it. Yep, Flareon down. And now we should just have to beat the Flareon. Yep. I think I'm going to leave my Lapras here. Lapras tends to be my gym, my Pokemon that I leave at gyms. So, probably end up leaving my Lapras. Now my Vaporeon should be able to wreck this Flareon. But it actually, with how the game's mechanics work, it's actually a pretty almost even fight. If we were both 2005, I, I did level up my, e or my uh, Vaporeon. So that it was over 2,000 because I wanted another two, over 2,000 Pokemon. So I got a little little impatient and I powered him up over uh, 2,000. Even though I probably shouldn't have because the moveset on this is not that good. But it has high IVs. I'm not going to level it up anymore. Um, I'm going to try to get a Flareon that has better stats. But I think it was good enough to have another 2,000 Pokemon. So we'll go ahead and leave our Lapras there. Lapras is the Pokemon I don't like to use fighting gyms, but I like to use it to leave at gyms. So, okay, we've got a crash. Alright, so the app crashed, which is always just so much fun, but Pokemon Lapras at the gym... Uh, I don't know exactly what recorded and what didn't, so I wanted to make sure that I did a little outro to this gym battle. Alright guys, we've got 8 5KMX popping off here, so let's get into it. Hoping for Growlithe and Vulpix, obviously, but I will take Nidoran Males. I'll take about just any about anything. Sand Shrews aren't bad, I'll take those. Um, get another Sand Slash going, yeah. 24 out of 50, about halfway there to another one. I did pop a lucky egg too, so we'll get uh, 8,000 experience for all of these popping off. Oh, Paris, that's 
That's down there with Bellsprout on ones I don't want, but that's not a bad pair. It's 5'11". Not horrible. I hope I just don't strike out with all eight of something that I want. Okay, there we go. There's something I wanted, a Doduo. Got to be close to that. Yes, we are one hatch away from a uh, Dotrio because I have I found one in the wild my whole entire time playing this, so I'm doubting I'll actually... I'll actually find three in the wild. That's probably not going to happen. And a star you, not the greatest, but but not horrible. Thirty eight candies for star you. I really want a Nidoran male because I'm really close to Nido King, Nidoran female. All right, well we could do some powering up on my Nido Queen because we've got eighteen candies now, so I could do that. I've lost count on the eggs. Is this egg six? I think this is the sixth egg. And uh, it's an oddish. I'll take it because I want to get up to Blossom. And we're almost there. We're at 92. So, not bad. I take another hatch of an oddish then, I guess. But I find enough. I don't necessarily need it. Oh! Oh! Let's go! Let's go! Porygon! Oh my gosh, I was not expecting that. 923 Porygon. Oh, I was not expecting this. That's crazy. I was not expecting to get a Porygon today. So that is huge. I am super hyped for Porygon. I cannot believe I just found that. And do we have... I think this is the last deck. But oh my gosh. That Porygon is huge. And then a Shelter. Which is fine. Because I think I can evolve into a Cloister. No, I'm just a little bit short. But oh my gosh. That's 9,000 XP. That's a new Pokemon. Oh my gosh, that is hype for Porygon. That is that is hype for Porygon. Let me star that. I did not think I'd be getting a Porygon anytime soon. Um, I'm not sure if I'll remove him from the hunting for list because technically Porygon 2 is coming out. So I should probably continue to hunt Porygon. But I should probably switch it up with those Pokemon on the, near, on the searching for list because they've been there since I introduced that. Um... I want to power this Needle Queen up a little bit. I'm going to waste more of my Stardust. I have no Stardust. I definitely need to start saving this, but I just want to power up all my Pokemon. Especially this Needle Queen, because it's got good IVs too. It's just a beastly Needle Queen. This is going to take like all of my candies, but this is going to be one beastly Needle Queen. And it has a good move set with Bite and Earthquake. I don't know if that's the best move set for Needle Queen. But it's definitely a good move set for Needle Queen, and Needle Queen is now my four strongest Pokemon. If you get rid of Vaporeons who have a stupid multiplier, then it's my second strongest Pokemon. Hoping you know we got to grab some more eggs now because now I am completely out. I'm not showing you guys any of the two Ks because odds are I'm getting Zubats. I think I pull Zubats out of two KM eggs more than anything. It's always Zubats, but. Let's go to our recent, and there are our Pokemon we had. See, last 2K I made, you guys missed a Magic Carp, which I can transfer to get to 269 candies. But we hatched ourselves a Sandshrew, Doduo, Paris, Staryu, Nidoran Female, Porygon, which the hype is real for that, Oddish, and Shelter. But let's go ahead and grab some more eggs, and maybe I can get another round hatched off before I need to head home. But we will see. All right, guys, so here's the last batch of eggs. I didn't pop a lucky egg. I completely forgot. Five 5KM eggs. Uh, this won't be a whole video. We'll tack some other stuff onto the end. Um, I don't know what it'll be at this point, but we will be tacking some stuff. Or I will. I don't know why I said we. I will be tacking stuff onto the end. All right, we'll start out with the Cubone. That's nice. Is that Marowak? That is not Marowak. Why do I think I have more Cubone candies every time I hatch one than I actually do? Alright, Vulpix, that's nice. I can go waste more Stardust powering up Ninetales. So that'll be fun. I guess I'll do that in this part. We'll go power up Ninetales. Oh, Goldeen. Uh, not exactly what I wanted. Getting close to another Sea King. Give me a Pokemon like that I need for a new evolution or Growlithe. Not a, not a Psyduck. I caught like four Psyducks today. 
So we're up to 71 Psydex candies. We're going to have two decent gold ducks when I... I'm just going to wait until I get to 100 candies. All right, Nidoran female. Okay, so I can continue to power Nido Queen up. We're sitting at 27,000 Stardust, which is pretty darn low. I need to start grinding that back up. But first of all, let me blow some of it on Nido Queen. Oh, you're costing 4,000 to power up? What is this? I feel like I'm getting cheated. 4,000? Is that fully powered up now at 1857? It is. That's a fully powered up Nido Queen for level 25, for me at least. All right, now it's time to blow the ra Oh my gosh, you're 4,000 too. What is this? Why are you all so expensive to power up? You're taking four candies at a time. Oh, okay. Well, 1601 is the highest nine tails can get. All right, so let's go. Let's go back up to the top. And nine tails now cracks the main list at 1601. Needle Queen moves into third on the most powerful list. Need Growlithe candies because Arcanine is going to be a beast. I can easily get him over 2,000, but. The Stardust saving begins. I'm going to go home and probably incense a little bit. Catch some Pokemon, at least get some minuscule amount of uh, Stardust. But I need to go get five more eggs, and then I'm going to head home, uh, and we'll see what I'm going to do to wrap this video up, because I don't even know.